I had a coat on, which was atypical for me, at least. Anyone who grew up in a tropical country like Indonesia would understand. Crisp leaves, orange trees, the frigid breeze of harvest season. Pumpkin spice latte seems to be the trend. I was heading to campus alone. I miss my personal driver. I miss not having to walk. As I pace towards the foreign building, a month-old memory slipped through my mind. Orientation day acted as the prologue of my college life. I can recall being introduced to the Western life, the things to expect in a typical California college. Students doing pot, free condoms up for grabs, police officers patrolling around campus. These aren't things I'm familiar with. I may sound traditional, but it wasn't easy for a chindo like me to adapt in this liberal space. My family's opposition to me moving to the States came to mind. Their fear of separation and a different me when I eventually come back. I suddenly remember. They weren't wrong. Things were different here. A feeling of deep regret slowly sipping in. They don't want to lose their daughter. They've always prioritized me more than they prioritized my education. I'm grateful. I miss them. I had to pursue my future though. With a burdened heart I left. But with an accomplished dream, I will come back home. I often experience discrimination due to my belief Islam. It hurts, it weakens, but it is easy to pass through. The moment I arrived in the US, I looked less energetic. We had dinner at Pumai afterwards. Apparently, my cousin noticed the sadness. He said, don't worry, I'll protect you. Love never fails. He was trying to give the support for me. My aunt also said the same thing and added, you should not be afraid, you have us. My confidence got boosted to its maximum. Negative thoughts slowly vanished. They care, they love, they protect. The feelings of gratitude began to rise. I could not thank them enough and I would not have those figures as well as to experience any other way. <laughs> <laughs>